After the recent criminal enterprises update, a lot of the businesses in the game got updated and freshed up a bit. One of these businesses was the nightclub. The nightclub was already a very good business, but after the update, it is now even better. Therefore, this turns out to be the perfect time to make a beginner's guide to the nightclub warehouse business in GT Online. But before we get into the video, if you'd like to see a bit more of me and you like what I'm doing on this channel, then it would be much appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel and maybe have a look on the other GTA videos I have. If you're playing GTA Online right now, this channel is a great place for you. Anyway, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing we actually have to do when we're buying the nightclub is find a location for it. Because as you can see right here on the screen right now, there are many different locations. So which one of these are good? You should try to pick the most northern location you can, preferably one of the two most northest locations you can pick. This is because of all the sell missions and also resupply missions if you choose to do that is most of the time north up on the map so in Polito Bay and up in uh, Sandy Shores. However though these locations that are northern they will cost a bit more. Trust me they are worth it compared to some of the locations that are bottom of the map because then you have to drive through the whole city to get to a location and if you're selling in a full lobby that could be really really dangerous you want to get out of the city as fast as you can so pick the nor most northern location you can preferably one of the two most northern but they are also very expensive for the customization of the nightclub mostly in this tab here is purely up to you and how you want it but i suggest to not use too much money on the cosmetics of your nightclub especially as a beginner since you might want to save that money for upgrades and etc later on. The only tab here you want to think a bit about is storage. Here you can buy more storage for your nightclub so you don't have to sell as often. The maximum amount of storage floors you can add is 5. For newer players with not too much money, I recommend to just hold off on buying these until a bit later in the game when you have more money to root with. Remember, you can always change this later. You will also see the extra garage floors you can add to the nightclub, but again, this is something you can get later since it does not actually get you any monetary benefits. It's just an extra garage for your personal vehicles. So, we've bought our location, what do we do now? Well, as with any other business in this game, we have to set it up. Fuck they. Well, as with any other business in GT Online, we have to set it up. And there are three setup missions. It's the staff setup, the equipment setup, and then also the DJ setup. But this DJ setup will automatically start after the second setup is done. You can do it in whichever order you want, but if you do it staff setup first, equipment setup after, then after you're done with equipment setup, you will then get DJ setup instantly. Automatically it starts after the second setup is done. All of these are extremely straightforward. You just go through these and we will get onto the actual business. All of these are extremely straightforward. Usually it's just go to this place, get this person or go to this place, get this equipment. So go through these and we will get onto the actual business. To start, I want to differentiate the two ways of earning money with the nightclub because it is actually two different ways you earn money with it. The first way of earning real passive income with the nightclub is the actual club where your guests are and the other part being your warehouse in the basement of your nightclub. This is a bit more illegal but in GT Online everything is illegal. To make it easy, let's start with the club itself first. Well, from the club you will gradually get money from the safe in your office and at any time you want you can go and collect that money. The maximum capacity is $250,000. When it hits this amount you have to take it out or else it will stop producing money. Every 48 minutes you will get an amount of money that will be put into your safe. This amount depends on how high the popularity of your nightclub is. If you have your popularity maxed out, as you should, you will get $50,000 added to the safe every 48 minutes. The popularity bar will drop down as your nightclub becomes more boring for the guests. However, 
there are ways to bring them back. Firstly, you can change your DJ. So when you go on this tab right here on your computer, you may see that some of them cost $100,000 while others cost $10,000. Is this way of putting it, the ones that cost $100,000 you have never booked before. The ones that cost $10,000 you have already booked before so you can just book them back again. Every time you change DJ you will get an amount of popularity. So this could boost your popularity if you want to. But it's not the best way of getting popularity for the nightclub. Another way of getting popularity is by popularity missions. These you could start from the computer at nightclub management and then click promote club or call Tony and request a popularity mission from his phone. These missions are pretty easy. You will also get a bit of money actually and a bit of popularity, but it will very slowly go up because you have to do many of these missions for it to be maxed out. So it really isn't worth your time, I think. But the actual best way of getting popularity is a new way that got added into the new update and that is kicking out troublemakers and helping drunk VIPs. And the reason for this being so good to get popularity is because these missions are extremely fast. For example, kicking out troublemakers. You will get $10,000 for every mission you do. It's not really a mission since the mission only takes like 20 seconds. You go up to the troublemaker in your nightclub, you press right on the D-pad or something like that, and then you get a cinematic of you just throwing them out of your nightclub. That's it. And then you will get popularity and also $10,000. On the helping drunk VIPs part, it's a bit more of a mission because you have to drive the drunk VIP to the hospital, to their house or to therapy, but you will also get $10,000 from this mission as well as upping the popularity. So in my opinion, these are the best. I've heard that every 48 minutes or so you will get troublemakers and helping drunk VIPs in your nightclub. So just come back regularly and check if there is anything you can do to boost your popularity to keep it topped up. If you keep the popularity bar up and regularly check in if it's topped up, then you should expect to get $50,000 every 48 minutes. As I said, the maximum capacity of the safe is $250,000, so make sure to take this money every couple of hours so you maximize how much you earn with your club. Okay, so that's the club all done. Now let's get on to the bit more complicated part of the business, and that is the nightclub warehouse. If you log on to your computer and go to the warehouse management screen, you will see a lot of things. Everything here is connected to your nightclub warehouse. The guys that will work for you in your warehouse is your technicians. There are five possible technicians you can hire. You will get one for free and the rest you will have to buy to unlock them. They will gradually get more expensive as you get more of them, but don't worry, they will only be a few hundred thousand each, so it's not too much. Put it simply, the more technicians you have, the faster and more money you can earn. But there is another part of the puzzle that is missing, and that is the business products. For each technician you have, he needs to be assigned to one product that he will source. When you have assigned him to, for example, cargo and shipments, your technician will then go out there and find that product for you and store it in the warehouse. Completely passive, you don't have to do anything. However, there is even more to this. For your technician to actually be able to source this product, you will need to own that business that produces that product. Okay, that was a really difficult sentence to even say, so let's make it more simple. In GT Online, there are seven businesses that are linked with the nightclub. These have different names inside the nightclub, but they are the same. The seven businesses are Cargo and Shipments, which is Special Cargo Warehouse, aka CEO Crates, Sporting Goods, which is the Bunker, South American Imports, which is the Coke Lockup, Pharmaceutical Research, which is the Meth Lab, Organic Produce, which is the Weed Farm, Printing and Copying, which is Document Forgery, and Cash Creation, which is Counterfeit Cash Factory. To be able to assign your technician to any of these businesses, you will have to own them in the game beforehand, or else he cannot be assigned. Also, the businesses you decide to assign a technician for will not in any way slow down the production of that business, so you will earn as much money as you did always with the bunker for example, even though you assigned a technician for it in the nightclub. So don't worry about your businesses underperforming or anything like that, because they won't be affected. In there being only 5 technicians and 7 businesses you can possibly link, 
the math equation does not really work out. We have to put two businesses to the side and not assign a technician for them. Well, to figure out what to let go, let's pull out the numbers. For cargo and shipments, you will earn $8,570 an hour. For sporting goods, you will earn $7,500 an hour. South American imports, you will earn $13,500 an hour. Pharmaceutical research, you will earn $11,500 an hour. Organic produce, you will earn $6,075 an hour. And printing and copying, you will earn $5,400 an hour. And cash creation, you will earn $9,450 an hour. So now that we have gone through that, we can now see that the top five businesses that earn you the most money per hour in the nightclub are cargo and shipments, sporting goods, South American imports, pharmaceutical research, and cash creation. Of course, if you don't have all five technicians to assign, and you have, for example, three technicians, then assign them to the highest paying ones, which would then be South American imports, pharmaceutical research, and then lastly, cash creation. But if you have five, these are the top five right here. Quickly before we get on to selling, I just want to mention upgrades because upgrades is a pretty big thing in GT Online in general, but also here in the nightclub. The businesses we have with the nightclub is the equipment upgrade, the staff upgrade, and the security upgrade. The equipment upgrade produces goods faster, which basically gets you more money. So this I do recommend everybody to buy because you just earn more money with the business and it's just good all around. It's, there's nothing bad about it. Only thing that is a bit bad about it is that it does cost quite a lot. Trust me, you will earn that back in no time if you have five technicians and you assign them to the right businesses. Next one is staff upgrade. And basically what this does is reduce the daily popularity loss of the nightclub. It basically makes the nightclub popularity easier to maintain so you don't have to always go in and check if the popularity is at the top because it goes slower down. And also here I do recommend to buy the staff upgrade this is a lot cheaper too, so it's much more manageable to buy. All around, it's just good to buy this upgrade because it will get easier to maintain the popularity and in the end, you will earn more money because after a while, you will forget about popularity a bit and then it will go all the way down and then you will earn no money. But if you have this upgrade, that, will, that process would go much slower. The last upgrade we have is the security upgrade and I do not recommend this upgrade at all because it's very rare for raids to even happen in the first place and if you even have the security upgrade it will be even rarer. It's so rare already so there's basically no reason for having it. Only reason I have it is because I just upgraded all the businesses I have in game but it's really not needed. You can't go the whole game cycle without having the security upgrade. Now we've got our technicians working, we've got our upgrades, and the technicians have got some goods for us to sell. Well, selling your nightclub is simple, since you will always only get one delivery vehicle to drive no matter how much goods you have. However, there are three different types of delivery vehicles you can have. The first one is the Speedo. This one you get for free, you get it with the nightclub when you buy it. The Speedo can sell up to 90 crates, Anything over 90 crates, you will need the Mule Custom. The Mule Custom need to be bought if you want to use it. Most likely though you maybe won't even need it since it is only ever used when delivering between 91 till 180 crates of goods. But if you're selling for example over a million, you will most likely need the Mule Custom. But there's also a even bigger truck and this is the Pounder Custom. This also need to be bought. In my opinion, it's almost never used because it's used for over 180 crates sales. I have it in my nightclub. I don't think I've ever used it because you have to have so many crates to use it. So I don't even think you need it, but if you want to buy it, you can. And what's nice about all these vehicles is that you can customize and actually upgrade them inside of your nightclub warehouse. You can put on additional armor, make them faster, and even weapons like mines and rockets. However, back to the sell screen again. Now before you go out and sell all those goods you have in your brand new truck, let's talk about your accomplice. Because Tony, who is the face of your actual nightclub, keeps your little warehouse thingy a secret. And to encourage him to keep that secret, he gets a 10% cut from your revenue when you're selling the warehouse and there is no way to prevent this. But his cut does max out at $100,000. So if you sold $1 million worth of goods, 
Tony would then take 100k since that is 10%. But since his cut maxes out at 100k, you can sell more than 1 million and he won't take anything from what you sell over a million. So technically, you can make more money this way, but you do with that as you wish. It isn't too big of a deal since it's only 10% he takes. Usually that is around 50 to 70k depending on how much you're selling. If you're also wondering about the special orders tab on your screen, well don't. I don't recommend you to do this, it is better to just sell everything in one go. If you start doing these special orders, you will earn slightly more money, but also use way more time that you could use elsewhere where you would earn more money than doing these special orders. All that being said, I hope you now understand why the nightclub business is one of the best businesses in the game, even more so after the criminal enterprises update. When you get the hang of it, it becomes incredibly easy. You just have to maintain popularity, sell your goods, and then earn money. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this awesome guide. Cow. And if so, go downstairs and throw that like button into the wall so it turns blue. Whoa. Oh. What's it like to be a sex? Oh! And of course, don't forget to subscribe. That's all for today. I'll see you next week, lads. Farewell.